Our top story tonight, choosing not to fill up may seem like an easy way to save at the pump, but it could cost you time and grief in the long run. Beth Vaughn is here to explain. Well, so far this year, AAA reports roadside calls for gasoline up 5% compared to last year. But drivers desperate to save cash say there are less risky ways to travel. Minutes pass slowly at this metro stop on Main. It's a very nice weather today. Worth the wait for Tafari, who now trades cost for convenience. Instead of driving a car, it's better to use a bus because it's cheaper. His car sits idle at home because he says gas would cost him twice as much each month as a bus pass. Oh, much better. Much, much money. <laughs> and he's not the only one looking for a cheap way out. Well, I got a friend that works with. We kind of carpool too now. A buddy system in KC for Terrence Edwards. There's not much I can do to plan for it. And train rides in Denver for Andy Mutz. Yeah, because I wouldn't have traveled Easter weekend if I didn't have to. <laughs> Simply because the gas prices, yeah, it's expensive. The national average for a gallon of regular unleaded gas is just 25 cents below the all-time high. 365 a gallon. But we paid more on the way here. We paid like 380 a gallon. And many worry this is just the beginning. And imagine ways until come summer, what it looks like. So drivers are breaking away from the norm. You gotta be a little bit more patient dealing with the bus service, but they, they get you there though. Getting creative to avoid doling out the dough. If you do choose to pay those high gas prices, AAA warns letting your fuel gauge drop below a quarter of a tank often could lead to major engine damage. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.